Now, Deputy President William Ruto is now calling on his allies who were purged from parliamentary committee leadership positions to support those who have replaced them. But his lieutenants are cautioning President Uhuru Kenyatta against handing key committee positions to ODM and other NASA affiliate parties. And to his senior political affairs reporter Kennedy Murethi reports that with the proposed changes, the opposition may well be part of the government. The Orange Democratic Party is poised to reap big from looming changes in the leadership of key parliamentary committees. The era of the handshake has thrust the Orange Party closer to power, and now the long-serving opposition party is basking in the spoils. The once vibrant opposition party, which kept government in check, is now in bed with the fiercest protagonist in the 2013 and 2017 elections, and Buddy says this is just the beginning. Those who wish or would wish that uh, the handshake would break up, I would tell them that they will wait for a very long time. For ODM, the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee is a key one in debating and potential passage of the BBI report. We have about seven new members in that committee. The Honorable Emmanuel Wangwe, who is the whip on majority side, and also the Honorable Junette Mohamed, the whip from uh, the minority side. This is basically, because you know the whips bring order. This is a committee where we need serious order going forward. ODM MPs set to benefit from the new lineup include Busia Women Representative Florence Mutua, who is tipped to chair the Education Committee. Homa Bay Women Representative Gladys Wanga has been nominated to chair the All Powerful Finance and National Planning Committee, while Shinyalu MP Justice Kizito will chair the Parliamentary Broadcasting and Library Committee. Rarieda MP Otiende Amolo is tipped to deputize Kangema MP Muturi Kegano in the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, while Homa Bay Town MP Peter Kaluma will deputize Ndaragwa MP Jeremiah Kioni in the Constitutional Implementation Oversight Committee. Other NASA affiliate party members whose loyalty to the handshake has paid off include Mavoko MP Patrick Macau, who will now chair the Sports, Culture and Tourism Committee, Waipas Mwingi Central MP Gideon Muliongi will deputize Maina Kamanda in the National Cohesion and Equal Opportunities Committee. Ford Kenya's Kandui MP Wafula Wamunyenyi will chair the National Government Constituencies Development Funds Committee. Before we start campaign, let's have a small meeting in my office. We agree. We, have been, we are going to contest in seven or so positions. Let us agree and consensus because if you go against my, against my directions, the consequences Will be there. The Peruto's allies have been relegated to less plum committees as they now watch their political adversaries take up the driver's seats of positions they held. Purged leaders are now cautioning against the trust bestowed upon the ODM and its allies as the Deputy President William Ruto in a tweet called on his troops to take up the new roles they have been given diligently. And I want to plead with His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya, that if you observe, truly observe the constitution of the Republic of Kenya, the governance structure requires that if you are in the majority, then you should occupy departmental committees of parliament leadership. Kennedy Muredi, NTV.